we present social studies for standard 8 pupils based on the revised syllabus. Our topic today is forestry. With me in the studio is the radio teacher and two standard 8 pupils, Bert and Akinyi. Please say hello to standard 8 pupils. Hello, hello pupils. pupils. Welcome to the program. Our lesson today we shall discuss one types of forests in Kenya, two problems facing forests, three effects of deforestation, and four forest conservation measures. A forest is a large piece of land covered with trees. Which are the types of forests found in Kenya? Yes, bet. The types of forests found in Kenya are natural forests and planted forests. Correct, Bet. We have the natural forests and planted forests. Excuse me, teacher. Yes? What is a natural forest? That is a good question, Akinyi. A natural forest is a forest that grows on its own. Natural forests have hardwood. What are examples of hardwood, Bet? Examples of hardwood that I know are oak, teak, and mahogany. Correct. Some of these natural forests are found at Mount Elgon, Mount Kenya, and Arabuko Sokoke. What is a planted forest, Akinyi? A planted forest is a forest that is grown by human beings. That is right. A planted forest is grown by human beings. The planted forests consist of soft wood. What are some examples of soft wood, Bet? Some examples of softwood are cypress, pine, and eucalyptus. That is right. We shall now discuss the problems facing forests. Let us listen to Standard 8 pupils discussing problems facing forests in Kenya. Okay, now you remember that teacher said that we discuss problems facing forests in Kenya, right? Yes, I have the first point. Most of the trees have been cut down, leaving the land bare. Do you know why trees are cut down? No. Some are cut down to give room for cultivation. Yeah, that's true because in our home, we use firewood for cooking. We also use charcoal for cooking. Hmm, that means forests are cut down to give us fuel for cooking. This could be firewood or charcoal. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know, the other day I went to visit my aunt and I saw part of the forest near where she lives. It was burnt. I wondered how it happened. And when I asked my aunt, she told me that the fire in the forest was an accident. So we can uh, say that forest fires are also a problem facing forests, Amma? I agree with you. Another problem facing forest is that most of the trees dry up during the dry season. Is that not a problem? It is, it is. Most forests are home to wild animals. Mm -hmm. These wild animals, like elephants, can easily destroy the young trees. Yeah, that's very true. But you see, people also need timber for building, for fencing and even for making furniture. This has also led to cutting down of trees, which is a problem. Yes. Do you remember one time all the cypress trees dried up and it was said that they were sick? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, can, can trees be sick really? I think they were just attacked by pests. Therefore, I think another point is that sometimes the trees are attacked by pests. Thank you all for your contributions. Let us now stop there. Secretary, please read to us the points you've written. Yes, these are the points we discussed on the problems facing forests. 1. Cutting down of trees for firewood and charcoal. 2. Cutting down trees for cultivation. 3. Forest fires. 4. Pest attacks, five, damage by wild animals, and six, drought. Ah, I think we cooperated well. Thank you very much, everyone. Let us just get ready for the presentation. Sindio? Sawa, okay. sawa. Yeah. We have been listening to a discussion by Standard 8 pupils. From the discussion, which are some of the problems facing forests in Kenya? Yes, Bet? 
One of the problems facing forests in Kenya is the cutting down of trees for charcoal and firewood. That is correct, Bet. The cutting down of trees for firewood, charcoal, or for cultivation is called deforestation. Tell us another problem, Akini. Another problem facing forests is fire. Very good. Fire burns down forests, especially during the dry season, hence reducing the area under forest cover. Teacher, from the discussion, we also learned that trees dry up during the dry season. I think this is another problem, teacher. That is correct, Bet. A long period of dry season leads to drought. Drought makes trees dry up, hence destruction of the forest. Now, which other problems were mentioned, Akini? They also talked about trees being attacked by pests. Oh yes, when trees are attacked by pests, they cause a lot of destruction. Some trees dry up, or sometimes they may not grow properly. Teacher, some trees are also attacked by diseases. That is quite true. The outbreak of diseases makes the trees to wither and finally die. Yes, Akini, do you have something to add? Yes, I do. Wild animals such as elephants destroy young seedlings and sometimes may even destroy big trees. Yeah, teacher, from the discussion I also learned that the need for timber for building and posts for fencing has also led to cutting down of trees. That is correct, Bet. You see, the demand for tree products such as timber, posts, furniture has also led to clearing of forests. Please, class teacher, discuss with your pupils other problems facing forests in Kenya after the lesson. Now class, today we are going to take an imaginary visit to the Abadeya forests. Please get ready. Remember to carry a notebook and a pen, okay? Yes, yes teacher. Remember, forests are also called areas, so please carry your school sweaters, okay? okay. Our bus is waiting. Let's go. Yes, teacher. Now, this is the Abadea Forest. With us is the forest officer, Mr. Tubei. He will tell us more about the forest. Mr. Tubei, these are the standard eight pupils. Welcome to Abadea Forest. Thank you. Forests are a home of wild animals. Please let us move together as one group. But excuse me, sir. We learned that Abadea Forest is a natural forest. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Abadea Forest is a natural forest. Most of the trees found here have grown on their own. Sir, I can see a wide piece of land without trees. Is that part of the forest? Yes, you are right. The piece of land had trees, but they were cut down. And this is what is known as deforestation. Yeah, but sir, why have you burned the other side of the forest? A good question. Sometimes during the dry season, forests are destroyed by fire. Ah. This fire is either lit accidentally or by people who want to settle in the forest. When dry leaves are exposed to fire, they burn easily. Forest fires are hard to stop. They continue burning for several days. Excuse me, sir. I heard that the government allocates forest land to people who want to cultivate. Is that true? Well, it used to be done. But nowadays the government does not allocate forest land for cultivation. Instead, they resettled the people who had settled in the forested areas. But Mr. Tube, which are some of the effects of deforestation? To understand the effects of deforestation, let us move to the other side. You can hear sounds of moving water. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, we, can. we can. Please let us hurry up. 
This is one of the rivers that flows from this forest. The river had a lot of water and sometimes it could cause floods, but as you can see, it now looks dry. This is the result of cutting down trees. Um, Mr. Tube, why is the water so dirty? That is a good question. You have already realized that most of the trees have been cut down and the soils are bare. During the rainy season, the top soils are easily swept away, making the water dirty. Hence, deforestation has led to the increase of soil erosion. Deforestation has also led to the loss of species of trees that cannot be found easily. But Mr. Tube, what do you mean by species? A species is a kind of trees which have similar features. When these trees are all cut, it is difficult to find them. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing to solve the problem of cutting down of trees? Okay, we are making efforts to conserve forests by planting trees in areas that have been cut. This is called reforestation. Another measure is that no one is allowed to cut down trees without permission. Now, do you have any more questions? I would like to end by encouraging you to plant trees everywhere. Thank you for coming to see our forest. Thank you very much, Mr. Tubei, for taking us round the forest. We have learned a lot. Thank, Thank you, you very Mr. much, Mr. Tubei. Tube. You're welcome. Welcome back to class. What have we learned from Abadea Forest, Akinyi? We have learned that Abadea Forest is a natural forest and it has different types of trees. Correct, Akinyi. What else did we learn, Bet? We also learned that Abadea Forest experiences some problems such as cutting down of trees and forest fires. That is correct, Bet. The cutting down of trees is what is called deforestation. We also learned of effects of deforestation. Which are some of these effects, Akinyi? The cutting down of trees has led to shortage of water in the rivers. Very good. Deforestation has led to decrease in the amount of water in the river. This is because the ground is left bare. Teacher. Yes. We also learned that deforestation has led to the spread of deserts. That is true. The cutting down of trees leaves the ground bare, making it easy for the topsoil to be washed away by water or wind. Deforestation has caused the loss of tree species which cannot be found easily. Pupils, tell your teacher other effects of deforestation. Thank you, teacher. We shall now discuss forest conservation measures. Teacher? Yes? What does the word conservation mean? That is a very good question, Bet. Conservation of forest refers to the protection, preservation, and management of forests. Which are some of these ways we can conserve our forests, Akinyi? Planting trees and crops on the same piece of land can be used to conserve forests. Very good. The growing of trees together with crops in a farm is known as agroforestry. Agroforestry is one of the measures of conserving forests. Which other measures can be taken to conserve the forest? Yes, Bet? I think people should be encouraged to use energy-saving jikos. Very good. Homes can introduce the energy-saving jikos. This reduces the demand for firewood, hence saving the forests. Okay, which other ways or which other measures can be taken to conserve forests, Akinyi? Another measure of conserving forests is creating public awareness. Exactly. 
The government and other organizations such as Green Belt Movement are making efforts to inform Wanainchi on the importance of trees and the need to plant more trees. In our lesson today, we have learned different types of forests. Which types of forests have we learned, Bet? We learned about natural forests and planted forests. Very good. We also learned of problems facing our forests in Kenya. Which are some of the problems we mentioned, Akini? Some of the problems facing forests in Kenya are 1. Deforestation 2. Forest fires and 3. Drought very good, Akini. Yes, Bet? Yes, we also learned about other problems that face forests, such as the presence of pests, diseases, and wild animals. Very good, Bet. We also learned that wild animals, demand for tree products, and government policy are some of the problems facing our forests. We learned of the effects of deforestation. Now, which are some of the effects of deforestation, Akini? The effects of deforestation are 1. Shortage of water in the rivers 2. Increase of soil erosion and 3. Loss of tree species Very good, Akini. We also learned measures used to conserve forests. Which are some of the measures? Yes, Bet? Some of the measures for conserving forests are reforestation, afforestation, agroforestry, use of energy-saving jikos, and creating awareness. Thank you very much, Bet and Akini, for your contribution. And with that, we come to the end of our lesson for today.